You're an NPC. Every girl you talk to feels like they're going to end up on a missing persons poster if they say yes to your date. The only girls who feel comfortable talking to you on a daily basis is Siri and Alexa. You're convinced that one day you'll be like Jeff Bezos, but really you're like Jeffrey Dahmer. Picture this. I'm in high school, in the cafeteria. It's loud as fuck, filled with all the cliche characters, the jocks, the popular girls, and of course, the nerds. I was the nerds. But one day, as I'm looking throughout the cafeteria, I noticed this one girl who I never seen before. And this girl is cliche pretty as hell. I look to one of my friends and I ask, who's that girl? And he tells me, oh, she's new. She just transferred from this other high school. And as soon as he said new, my eyes widened <laughs> because I'm thinking, wow, a fresh start. Because my reputation in high school at the time was the self-deprecating fat kid who is occasionally funny. Not a lot going for me, so the idea of meeting a girl who doesn't really know about that reputation is super exciting to me. So feeling bold, I do one of my first ever attempts at a cold approach. I start walking up to her, my heart is fucking pounding, bro. <laughs> my adrenaline is going crazy. My anxiety is kind of through the roof. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm nervous as hell, but I'm thinking if I can power through this, it's all going to be worth it. So I walk up to her, look her right in the eye, and I say, wow, you're really pretty. And she just looked at me with this crazy level of uncomfortable <laughs> that I almost never seen before. But in the moment, I'm so high off of adrenaline and excitement that I don't even notice how much she's not into this right now. So after that bold but very awkward introduction, I just ask her, so what's your name? She tells me her name, I tell her my name, and after that weird ass introduction, I just straight up get to the point and I ask her, so it's nice to meet you. Do you want to like exchange phone numbers or something? So imagine that. Imagine meeting a girl and immediately asking for a phone number. No small talk or anything, just straight to the phone number. Of course she didn't give me her phone number. She goes, um, sorry, my phone is off, but I can give you my Instagram. And me taking what I can get, <laughs> I go, oh yeah, sure, that'd be great. So around all of her friends, she goes in her little Hello Kitty notebook, writes down her Instagram handle, rips the pages out, and gives it to me. And I quickly shoved that shit right in my fucking pocket and awkwardly walked away just like that. I really felt like the fucking, like the main character for once. I felt like it was the end of the action movie and I have to walk away without looking at the explosion, right? All of my friends are at the lunch table like, Yeah, Marquise, I see you, bro. You Good job. Yeah, man, you killed it. And I believed it. I thought I fucking killed it. So I get home. I'm excited as fuck to hop on Instagram. I put in her handle and I see her page is private. I'm like, oh, no big deal. All she has to do is accept my friend request. So I click request and I play the waiting game, right? So every couple of minutes, I'm hitting refresh and refresh and refresh, waiting for her to accept my friend request. It's about like 10 o'clock at night now, and I notice, refresh, still no acceptance. I'm like, yeah, no big deal, right? Wait until the next day, wake up first thing in the morning, look at my phone, hit refresh, still not accepted. I'm like, okay, a little weird, but whatever. Hours goes by, still not accepted. Days goes by, still not accepted. A week goes by. She doesn't accept my friend request. So it's official. I try to flirt with this girl and I fumble hard. For most guys, this would be like a block in the road. Like, where do I go from here? How do I recover from such embarrassment? But I didn't let that stop me. I kept trying to put myself out there after that. I kept trying to flirt with different girls, to learn from my mistakes, to try different things out, to put myself out there. So many guys, they let one really bad experience form their whole outlook when it comes to flirting. You let one, two, maybe three bad encounters fuck up your whole momentum, and it's sad. 
every cool guy you see, every quote unquote Chad you meet, every popular kid in school that you see with all of the fucking girls, they have one in each arm. That's how fucking overwhelmed by women they are. They fumbled plenty of times. They've been called creepy plenty of times. They've had bad encounters with women plenty of times. In fact, compared to you, they probably had more bad encounters than good encounters. Yeah, the chats, they have way more bad encounters than you. But guess what? They learned from their mistakes. They perfected their craft. They took their L's and made it W's. It took me years to understand how to properly flirt with women. And you're upset because you made one girl uncomfortable? Get fucking over yourself. You've been brainwashed by video games into thinking that you don't gain XP when you lose. When in real life, it's the exact opposite. In fact, you gain more XP when you fuck up. So if you want to gain some extra XP by learning from my mistakes, please listen carefully. To properly flirt with a girl, the first thing you need to focus on is good eye contact and a smile. If you've seen any of my other videos involving approaching women, flirting, or just having good demeanor in general, you know how much emphasis I put on eye contact and smiling. And I will continue to do so because so many guys can't do that. That's the bare minimum of flirting, eye contact and a smile. And most guys can't do it. So many guys walk up to girls looking like they're about to take a fucking SAT test. They're sweating, their palms are shaking, their armpits are wet. They're fucking having an anxiety attack deep down and they wonder why the girl rejects them. If you look away in the middle of conversation, if you can't keep direct eye contact for 100% of a conversation, you have a lot of work to do because this is the most soft boy NPC shit ever. So if you can master keeping eye contact, Congratulations, you mastered the hardest part about flirting because 99% of your competition can't even do that. So next time you're in like a social situation and there's plenty of girls that you find attractive, look around. Which one catches your interest? When you see one, make eye contact. When she looks your way, keep that eye contact, bro. Lock in on that eye contact. Do not break that shit for a second. Now, once you keep that eye contact for like, I don't know, three seconds at most, maybe four, and count it. Four seconds is a long time. Go on your phone, put in four seconds. You'll see how long that is. Once you make that eye contact, just smile. And no, don't give her like a creepy super villain joker smile, okay? Just give her like a nice little grin. Once you smile, she'll either have two responses. Either she'll smile back or she'll awkwardly look away like, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> If she looks away, don't worry about it. Take that L and move on. Congrats, you just earned yourself some free XP. But if she smiles back, holy shit, bro. If she smiles back, you have a new objective, and that is to approach her. Bro, by the way, it is crucial to level up and unlock your true potential in life. Dating can be tough, but remember, bro, we're here to empower you. So allow me to personally invite you to become a member of our exclusive community, the Chad Munity. So click the top link in the description to watch our welcome video after you finish this video. We're in this together, and together we will conquer the Dayton battlefield and get those legendary Chad results that we deserve. Stay tuned, because it's time to achieve our full potential, bro. And I want to put an extra emphasis on approaching her immediately. Because once she smiles back, that's her saying, I'm interested. So there's no reason to overthink it. There's no reason to talk to your friends like, bro, you sure she's down? Or what if she has a boyfriend? Or what if she was looking at the guy behind me? Like, bro, settle down. Stop overthinking it. It's not that serious. Because right now, as soon as she smiles back, a mental timer goes off in her head. A mental stopwatch. And the longer it takes for you to approach her, and the higher that timer gets, the more of a pussy you look like. Because once you guys lock eyes, if it takes you 20 minutes to decide whether or not you want to approach her, by the time you get there, she's already decided, yeah, this guy's soft. This guy's a pussy. This guy's an NPC. He's not worth my time. He's intimidated by me. He's fucking afraid of how pretty I am. That's what she's thinking in her head. And you proving her right by being scared to approach. Almost every single successful cold approach I had, I had almost no prep time. I saw a girl, she thought I was cute, I thought she was cute, and I just walked towards her. 
the more I thought about it and tried to develop the perfect one-liners and best case scenario and just replaying conversations in my head before I actually approach her, the more times I fumbled, the more times I've taken L's. Once I just decided, hey, fuck it, throw caution to the wind and walk up to a girl randomly, no prep time, it usually works out because I'm being my realest self. When you take time to think about the situation, you you create this fake person, this persona. You create a fake Chad, but you're the real Chad. You don't need to create the fake Chad. You're the real deal, bro. You just have to believe in yourself. So next time you see that girl, don't overthink it, just go for it. Now, once you approach her, most guys do two things. They either do like some corny, recited TikTok line that they saw go viral and think, hey, if it worked for him, it'll work for me, right? Or they do like the creepy Jack from Titanic thing where they say something like, oh, you're beautiful. You're so pretty. Wow, you're gorgeous. This is the most creepy shit ever. Even the corny pickup line might get you a phone number or two if you're pretty enough. But the creepy one size fits all compliments gets you nowhere but creepy allegations. Well, that and one more thing that we'll talk about later, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself. And I'm sure some NPCs are watching this and thinking, bro, I can't even compliment girls now in 2023. What has society brought us to? Jesus, calm down, Andrew Tate. This is not what I'm talking about. You can compliment a girl, but the type of compliments you give are critical. Absolutely avoid weird compliments like gorgeous, pretty, beautiful, etc. At most, if you want to compliment a girl's looks, the best thing you can do when you're first meeting them is saying, you look good. This is the perfect, short, simple, yet direct way of complimenting a girl. It's saying enough without saying too much. Now, once you warm up with that, you look good compliment, you can follow up with a more unique and personalized compliment. Because saying you're gorgeous, you're pretty, you're beautiful, she can see those compliments on fucking Instagram. It's not a big deal. You have to say something that's unique to her. If she has fucking purple hair, say, oh, I love your purple hair. If she has some cool shoes, I'm like, oh, I love your shoes. Simple compliments like that. I know it sounds cringe coming from me on a YouTube video, but once you put yourself out there and meet a couple of girls, you'll find something about them that catches your attention that you want to bring up. Because if you're thinking it, you might as well just say it. Now, of course, this should go without saying, but I do want to mention it. Don't compliment her ass or her boobs or anything weird like that. Even if her ass is crazy, don't tell her, yo, your ass is crazy. If that's the first thing that comes to mind, please just push that thought to the side and try to think of a less creepy compliment to give her. It's just something to flatter her while also keeping your composure. So please think about it. Now at this point, flirting is easy. I don't want to sound like some cliche corny after school special, but nigga just be yourself. Because so many niggas create this fake version of themselves, this fake make-believe Chad. When in reality, you're supposed to think you already are that Chad. Because the more you think it, the more likely it becomes. I don't want to sound even more corny, but you have to speak things into existence, bro. This isn't some weird shit you see girls post on that Instagram story. This is reality. If you think it, it becomes reality. If you think you're not shit, your reality will be you not being shit. But if you think you're the cool guy, the desirable child that everybody wants, you become that person. Of course, it requires legit effort, but the more you think about it, the more it becomes true. Now, before I wrap this up, I do want to touch on one more thing that makes most guys get labeled creepy. Now, when you're trying to talk to a girl and she doesn't look into it, I'm talking she's avoiding eye contact. She's not very receptive to your compliments. There's a lot of awkward silence in the conversations. You need to leave. She's not playing hard to get. She's not being shy. Nigga, she thinks you're weird. So many guys try to save the interaction by continuing to flirt. When no, bro, you lost. Take your XP and leave. Learn from your mistake and move on. That's simple. Don't try to save it. There's nothing to save. There's a quote I want to read to you right now. It's from a guy named Neil Gaiman. This is a quote. When you're polite and reasonable, everyone assumes you are weak. No one takes you seriously. 
And I think that says a lot about how guys flirt. A lot of guys try to be overly polite and nice. And the women just don't take them seriously because of it. They just think you're a weak person, a phony person, a creative character. (laughs) No girl wants to talk to a creative character. They want to talk to the real deal, the real you. Be yourself. Don't overthink it. Don't try too hard. Because that's how you get labeled creepy. And if you don't take my word for it, seriously, bro, the amount of guys I've helped in the last couple of months solely based on my videos speaks for itself. Guys who have never been on dates before are now wifed up, and I love it. Guys who never even had their first kiss before are leaving comments on my videos. Thank you, Marquise. Your advice really made a difference, bro. I have a girlfriend now, and I'm grateful. That shit makes my day every single time. But the guy I used to daydream about becoming, I am now. But it took me a decade to get this far. For you, it will only take a couple of months, maybe even weeks, if you really listen to the things I'm teaching you. So please, bro, don't be an NPC. Be a Chad. Because when you're a kid, Chad takes your lunch. But as a man, he takes your bitch. I'll see you in the next video.